Hey guys, another quick update here from the German decks. Most of you know the shot already. It's a one hour time frame. You have that falling bullish wolver wave wedge in blue with its rising target line. And on Monday we were here somewhere. And um, I said, oh, that uh, looks quite strong to the downside. And um, that could be it as a red B. And we are already on our final leg to the downside. Because this one also looked like a proper ABC correction and um, it turned out to be a bounce and we made a double zigzag and ABC up. Uh, a strong move to the downside, another ABC up and um, it looks right now that this B is in. Um, I mentioned also that bees can be quite tricky, they, they like to move sideways or they even make higher highs and that's what happened actually. And now this morning, just after Frankfurt opening, we just broke that low from Thursday evening. So that looks like that could be the start of our final third leg as in C. And um, if we duplicate this leg here um, from that high, um, our 100% projection is 14,001. So that's a target for the C. And um, that works out still quite well with our 38.2 retracement we are still going for 13,974. Um, that would be a proper correction level for the entire move up um, we had from early March. And there's now another thing I want to um, just mention. There is another bullish wolver wave now just got activated. Um, have a look at that lower black trend line. I'm just gonna so you don't get confused. I'm just gonna get rid of these blue ones and let me just draw it quickly. So it's now in black. I'm gonna make it blue for you because I like to put my bullish patterns in blue. So that's our first, uh, that, that um, low here is our first point um, that uh, will always, or that wedge starts from. And um, that's the second point that the third, the fourth and the fifth, um, that's where it gets activated. So you see it's falling and um, you have a target line. You always draw that when you connect point one with point four. And um, yeah, it actually looks quite nice, but these things I like to overshoot the lower trend line. So to give you an orientation, um, you duplicate the upper trend line and place it at point three. And um, so that gives you a lot of room here um, where um, a DEX um, is allowed to move to have that um, Wolver wave wedge still in its valid area. So and that actually fits quite nicely with our C and that 100% um, percent target um, and even that 38.2. So keep that in mind. And um, But have also in mind that this Wolver wave wedge is active now and it may turn up any time. So, but as I said, from experience, they like to go a bit further down before they move up. So that's it for DEX. Um, give me a thumb up and um, yeah, get that follower. Um, number up here even on YouTube. Um, I wish you a good day and um, good luck with your trades. Thanks.